Darlene here, and in this video, we're going to talk about web page sections, what they are, how they work, and all the ways they can be used to customize each page. Let's dive in. I'm starting in the website editor. Every page on your website displays in the site navigation section. Right now, there's only one on this site, home. However, some templates come with additional pages like about us or contact us or pages specific to the type of site you're building. For example, if you are building an online store, you might see a products page in your template. Regardless of what you start with, you can always add or delete pages. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. For now, let's talk about what's on the pages. Every page on your site is comprised of sections. Each section on the page contains the content that you edit to customize your site. As you scroll through the homepage, you'll notice the sections become selected by a colored box. If you click a section on a page, the pane on the right displays with options you can use to customize that section. Sections can be placed in any order on your page. To rearrange their page position, click the up and down arrows in the right corner of the selected section. To add a new section to your web page, scroll to where you want the section added and then click the plus to add a section. Each type of section available displays in a pop-out window on the right, along with a preview of what that section will look like when you add it to your site. I'm going to add a gift card section. There's only one layout option available, so click Add. The new section displays on your site. If you don't need a section, you can always delete it by rolling your cursor over it in the preview window and clicking the three dots and choosing to delete the section. To edit a section, you can roll your cursor over the preview window and click on a section to select it. When selected, the section information shows in the pane on the right. To change the layout of a section, click Layout and make your selection. I like how ours looks, so I'm going to click back to the About section. The accent option in the website panel allows you to switch up how your theme colors are used on a specific section of content. You can also change the alignment of any text displayed within a section. The content contained in each section is displayed below the visual elements. Some sections contain section groups, which like sections correspond to elements in the preview window. Like sections, section groups can also be rearranged within a section by clicking the arrows and moving them left or right. You can also delete a section group by clicking the trash icon, or you can edit the text right in the preview window, including using bold, italics, adding links, bullets, or numbers. To return to a page level view, click the website option at the top of the website panel. The last thing I want to show you is how to create a new page and then how to move a section from your home page over to your new page. Click the plus next to site navigation and then click new page. I want to add a photo gallery, so I'm going to select gallery and then click create page. I'm going to name this page photos and make sure show in navigation is enabled. Notice in the preview window, you now have a home and photos link. Let's go back to our home page by clicking home in the preview window or on the site navigation in the pane. Scroll down to the photo gallery section, click the three dots and choose to move this section to the photo page. You'll see a confirmation message that your section has been moved. You can now navigate to either your home page or photos page to continue editing your site. And that's it. That's a little bit about sections, the building blocks of your web pages. I'm Darlene. Thanks for watching.